So for eight years, for eight years, my family has suffered and my career has suffered because what I would not allow those entities to do was bully me. Actress and comedian Monique is at it again, and this time it's getting dirty. The firebrand has apparently opened a can of worms about talk show host Gail King, which has cooked up a storm on the internet. Many fans are divided over the matter, with some siding with the actress and others bashing her for divulging such information. What did she say that has thrown social media into a frenzy? And how are the allegations affecting the co-host of Good Morning on CBS? I got labeled as difficult, my husband and I. Monique Angela Hicks, better known by her first name Monique, has reportedly aimed a few shots at Gail King for her role in the plight of black women in Hollywood. Many black actresses have complained of being overused and underpaid, but Hollywood seems to pay them no attention. The actresses are not only made to play physically, emotionally, and psychologically demanding roles for peanuts, but are blackballed when they complain. According to The Grapevine, Monique allegedly criticized Oprah for throwing black women at Hollywood executives, including convicted criminal Harvey Weinstein. She allegedly accused the veteran talk show host of allowing Weinstein to take advantage of black women financially and physically. She claimed that anyone who dared lift her voice against the powers that be in Hollywood was immediately labeled and blackballed. I said no to Oprah Winfrey. I said no to Tyler Perry. I said no to Lee Daniels, and I said no to Lionsgate. Once any woman lifted their voice against the establishment, she never got called for any movie. And even if she did, her remuneration was even lower than before. Sadly, many other black women are waiting in line to do the same job at even lower fees. A sad phenomenon that has enabled the exploitation of black women. According to the comedian, most of these women finally retire from acting with nothing to their name except awards and accolades, which add no value to their bank accounts. Usually, they they are left to live on the goodwill of friends and family after having spent years starring in high-budget films. Monique once quipped in an interview with T.S. Madison that the voices of black women in Hollywood often went unheard until they passed on. And when they did, Hollywood producers made a movie out of their lives to line their greedy pockets. She said, oftentimes when it comes to a black woman speaking up and speaking out, it goes unheard until she dies. Then once she dies, then we go back and say, well, she was right, and let's make a movie about it, the comedian explained. See, I can give you their name. Names, Eartha Kitt, Hazel Scott, Fannie Lou Hamer, Hattie McDaniel. All of those women took a stand, and all of those women left here heartbroken, unhealthy, looking at a community saying, y'all know I'm right, but why won't anybody say anything? Black women have fought all forms of inequality and won since the inception of Hollywood. From being limited to minor roles such as maid servants to uncredited major characters in big movies, they've conquered them all. But their biggest fight yet is the huge pay disparity between them and their white male counterparts. And to make matters worse, their own black colleagues in the industry tend to blackball them too. And this is the war Monique has been waging for the past decade or more. Monique has bravely called out a few producers who blacklisted her because she wouldn't accept less. She's also known to have blamed Oprah for her silence as black women continued to suffer at the hands of Hollywood producers. And this time, she appears to be blaming Gail King for helping her best friend Oprah blackball black women who dared ask for better wages. It all began when Taraji P. Henson appeared on Gail King's show show to talk about her life and career. During the interview, the renowned actress broke down in tears, claiming she was tired of fighting for the pay that she deserved. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. She complained that whenever she thought she'd broken the glass ceiling and would now get what she deserved, she ended up negotiating with producers as if she were now a novice. Fans who watched that interview sympathized with the veteran actress and criticized Hollywood for doing nothing to address the actress's plight. However, they praised her bravery for publicly saying what many of her colleagues were afraid to say. The fans compared her bravery to Monique, who has also never shied from speaking about what was on her mind. In 2009, she called out Tyler Perry for blackballing and bad-mouthing her to other producers after she refused to do a free promotional tour. The actress starred in the movie Precious, where she won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. According to the actress, she was paid $50,000 for her role, which she wholeheartedly accepted because it was a low-budget, independent movie. However, after its premiere, Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey signed on as executive producers to provide promotional assistance to the movie. The promotional assistance required that the actors did a media tour and other appearances to help market the movie. 
However, Monique refused to do it for free because it wasn't stated in her contract. Plus, she didn't want to sacrifice family time for any Hollywood junket. She explained that she'd already sacrificed enough to have done the movie for a paltry sum and requested the producers to pay for her campaign. She said, What I was not going to do was to make Hollywood the priority, she said, before recalling her and Perry's conversation at the Neighborhood Awards. I said to Perry, I'm not in the business of working for free. So we had a mutual agreement, no problem. We got up, we hugged, everything was good. When they knew that I was not going to be the actress or be the one that said because it's them, I gotta do it. No, I don't care who it is. However, this allegedly didn't go down well with Tyler Perry, who apparently labeled the actress difficult to work with. Monique claimed she began to hear reports of Tyler Perry badmouthing her to other Hollywood producers, who eventually blackballed her. According to her, Perry went as far as speaking ill about her to director David E. Talbert. She claimed that though she didn't hear reports of Oprah speaking ill of her, she expected the media mogul to wade in and fight on her behalf. But unfortunately, Oprah chose to maintain her silence even as she went through that sordid ordeal at the hands of the Hollywood producers. However, that's not the only problem she has with the media mogul. In 2020, Monique called out Oprah for treating Harvey Weinstein differently from Russell Simmons or Michael Jackson when they were sued for S.A. In a lengthy post on social media, Monique began by expressing her admiration for the own founder but quickly dove into criticism. According to her, when Harvey Weinstein's accusations started making rounds in the media, Oprah came to his defense, asking his critic to find the rainbow in the clouds. She encouraged his accusers to look for the silver linings and not make it all about the Hollywood executive producer. However, when Russell Simmons' S allegations hit the media space, Oprah defended the women who accused the music producer. She even decided to executive produce a documentary on Simmons' alleged crimes but had to pull the plug at the last moment, citing professional differences. Oprah also claimed that more women had come out and she didn't want her name associated with projects she didn't own. Monique also reminded fans of Oprah's reaction when Michael Jackson's S allegations became public. She explained that Oprah did little to nothing to defend MJ, even though he was acquitted of all crimes in 2005. Instead, Oprah went ahead to host a documentary titled Leaving Neverland, which detailed men accusing Michael Jackson of S.A. She expected that Oprah would at least honor the memory of Michael Jackson and defend his memory. At the end of her rant, Monique claimed that the only reason Oprah treated these celebrities differently was because of their skin color. She insinuated that Oprah defended Harvey Weinstein because he was white and threw both Russell Simmons and Michael Jackson under the bus because they were black. Had Russell and MJ a different skin color, Oprah would have sung a different tune. She ended her long rant by admonishing the former TV presenter to speak up for black women and not just watch them suffer. She reminded Oprah of when they first met when she, Monique, was only 16 and how she encouraged her to work harder. She signed off by reminding Oprah to consider standing by people who are right and not just the right people. Fans who read Monique's lengthy social media letter to Oprah applauded her for her bravery and called out Oprah for being fake. One fan wrote, you have always motivated me, and Oprah has never. I love that you live in your truth. No one can silence you. I love you, queen. Another also opined, I think she has every right to be upset by the way she was treated by Oprah, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels. Oprah only seems to stick up and stand for people that have a lot of money. Oh, and what about Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein? These men are as predators who don't care at all about women. I am glad Monique has expressed her opinion. Why should she be silent? There's a lot of backstabbers in Hollywood. She's a good actress, funny. She deserves respect for her talents. Monique apparently felt that Oprah's failure to defend black women appeared to have enabled producers like Harvey Weinstein to exploit them financially and physically. Harvey Weinstein was recently sentenced to 16 years in prison after he previously received a 23-year sentence in New York. Among his victims were a number of black women who sought employment in his company but were subjected to inhumane treatment. Some accused the ex-movie mogul of sleeping with them without their consent, while while others sued the 70-year-old for groping them. Many fans accused Oprah of being in bed with Weinstein, which was why she allegedly handed over black women to him on a silver platter. Interestingly, TMZ reported that the disgraced executive producer boasted to his staff that Oprah Winfrey had his back. According to Weinstein, he called Oprah and she encouraged him to come out and defend himself. 
He also stated that Oprah assured him of coming to his defense once he made a public statement. However, when TMZ reached out to Oprah's camp to verify Weinstein's statement, it turned out to be false. But here's where it gets interesting. Oprah's spokesperson admitted that Harvey did call their camp to speak with Oprah, but she refused. However, she was prepared to do a 60-minute interview with him only if he'd look in the mirror and give the honest bone marrow truth. However, this didn't stop people like Monique from calling out Oprah's alleged double standards, claiming that she treated white people differently from blacks. She also accused the Ace TV presenter of undermining black women whenever they were down. It will be recalled that Monique once reminded everyone of how Oprah demeaned Tony Braxton when she had her financial issues. She posted a video of Braxton in which the singer blasted Oprah for undermining her. In the video, Braxton said, she was so mean to me. I loved her so much. I admired her and looked up to her and she reprimanded me. She says to me, I hear you have Gucci flatware. I'm Oprah Winfrey and I don't have Gucci flatware. You don't have Gucci flatware because you didn't want to buy it, not because you couldn't afford it. What do you mean? And immediately she made me feel this big, that moment completely changed my career. It made people look down on me. Curiously, Monique hasn't been the only one who's called out Oprah Winfrey for her alleged shenanigans, with Gail King once again covering for her friend. A few months ago, Cindy Crawford called out Winfrey for objectifying her when she made an appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show in 1986. Narrating the incident, she claimed that Oprah asked her to stand up for the audience to see, after which she quipped, this is what I call a body. According to the supermodel, she felt like a chattel that was being seen but not heard. She continued, when you look at it through today's eyes, Oprah's like, show us why you're worthy of being here. Crawford explained that in the moment that Oprah made that statement, she didn't realize what was going on. But looking back at the whole episode now, she felt it was wrong. Watching it back later, I was like, oh my gosh, that was not okay, really, especially from Oprah. However, in classic Gail King style, she came to the rescue of her friend Oprah, insisting that she was disappointed with Cindy Crawford's remarks. She admitted she had yet to watch the episode Crawford was referring to, but it happened years ago, so she didn't think it would bother her in the present. She said, I know Cindy's been on her show many, many, many times, and it has always been a pleasant experience, so I would hate to think that something that happened years ago could have bothered her. Gail King explained that Oprah had no intention of hurting anybody, and that any comment she might have passed about Crawford in the past was in good faith. She explained that Oprah wasn't out to humiliate her, so she was a bit surprised at Crawford's view of the whole episode. Meanwhile, Gail King insisted that there was no bad blood between Oprah and Cindy Crawford and that everything was good between the two. Curiously, Oprah hasn't commented on Crawford's statement. She said nothing in her defense, but her good old friend defended her in the media. This is why fans can't help but conclude that Gail is complicit in Oprah's alleged treatment of women in general, and not just black women. However, Monique seems to think the opposite. She feels that the ace presenter usually targets black women for fierce criticism and handles white women with kids' gloves. Thus, Monique appears to suggest that Oprah should not only criticize white people the way she does black folks, but should encourage and support black women. Monique's fight for equality for black women has seen her cross swords with a number of heavyweights in the movie industry Industry, including Netflix. In 2019, she filed a lawsuit against the media giant for gender and racial bias. According to Monique, Netflix paid her $500,000 for a comedy special, while they paid Amy Schumer $13 million for a similar TV special. She didn't understand the huge pay disparity and began to question the rationale behind it. In a statement through her lawyer, Monique explained, Netflix is one of Hollywood's most innovative companies, yet it not only perpetuates racial and gender inequality, but it also takes advantage of a gender pay gap that disproportionately affects black women, who nationwide make only 61 cents for every dollar white males bring home. In the suit, the comedian also cited a huge pay disparity between actors and actresses in the Crown series, and also indicated that Kevin Spacey and other crew members used racial slurs. She alleged that Netflix had violated California's fair employment and civil rights laws, and was also a party to the major pay inequity that plagued black women in the state. She claimed in an interview that she could have just accepted accepted the money they gave and moved on, but she chose to take a stand and make a statement for the black women before and after her. Comedian Wanda Sykes also weighed in on the issue, thanking Monique for speaking out against the huge pay disparity. Wanda Sykes, who also performed her own comedy special on Netflix, revealed that she even got less than half of what was paid to Monique. According to the veteran TV personality, she was offended by what she got, but has since moved on and pitched camp where she'd be offered her worth. In a tweet to support Monique's cause, Sykes wrote, Thank you for speaking out. 
Netflix offered me less than half of your 500K. I was offended but found a new home in Epix. Netflix denied the allegations of gender and color bias and said that they believed the money they offered Monique was fair. They resolved to fight the case in court and defend their initial offer. However, in a sharp U-turn, Netflix announced that they had amicably resolved the issue with the comedian. The terms of the resolution weren't disclosed, but many fans believe that it was in the tens of millions since Monique wouldn't accept anything less. Monique's feud with Netflix instigated a heated debate between her and Steve Harvey, where she accused Harvey of siding with the entertainment company. Monique was invited by Steve Harvey to be a guest on his show, but this didn't stop her from speaking her mind. She appeared to be disappointed by the lack of support she received from her fellow black actors and actresses, specifically Steve Harvey. She said, This is my brother, and when I heard you go on the air and you said, My sister done burned too many bridges, there's nothing I can do for her now. Steve, do you know how hurt I was? Harvey vehemently denied the accusation, insisting that he supported Monique's cause, but didn't like how the actress went about the issue. He claimed that Monique had gotten it all wrong because Netflix was playing the numbers game and not the race game. He insinuated that the comedians on the bill were paid according to what they were estimated to bring in. His statement suggested that in Netflix's own estimation, Monique wouldn't bring in the same number of viewers and money that Schumer would bring. However, Monique countered Steve's argument by claiming that before, the money game was the integrity game. She argued that instead of looking at the numbers, Netflix should focus on being truthful and transparent and stop hiding behind the numbers game. She explained that the industry is too focused on money and has lost sight of integrity. However, Steve Harvey wouldn't back down, maintaining that he wouldn't sacrifice his career and source of income on the altar of integrity. According to the TV presenter, if I crumble, my children crumble, my grandchildren crumble. I cannot for the sake of my integrity, stand up here and let everybody that's counting on me crumble so that I can make a statement. There are ways to win the war in a different way. The show ended on a good note as both comedians shook hands, expressed love for each other, and hugged. Steve Harvey then seized the opportunity to ask Monique to apologize to Oprah, Lee Daniels, and Tyler Perry for what she did to them in the traditional and social media. Though Monique said nothing, fans assumed that she would go ahead and do what Steve Harvey suggested. Fans who watched the episode couldn't help but make their two cents known on the matter. Some supported Monique for bashing Tyler Perry and Oprah publicly and praised her for standing up for women of color. One fan wrote, She stood up to two of the biggest hypocrites in her community and refused to back down. I have nothing but respect for her, an immense talent that chose her own integrity over Hollywood fakes. I got nothing but love for you, Aunt May. Another also wrote, My heart breaks for Mo in this moment, and I'm ashamed of Steve for not sticking up for her and standing on it. A real brother and sister relationship is, I got your back no matter what's right wrong, or and if you didn't agree with how she did, correct her in private but have her back in public. This fan also thought that Steve Harvey had lost the argument and resorted to shouting Monique down. They wrote, You can tell by Steve needing to shout Monique into silence and cut her off that he has no foundation to stand on. She she knows in her heart that she's in a bigger fight than Steve seems to even be aware of or want to acknowledge. I truly admire Monique and her strength. Some fans also felt that Monique deserved a second chance to show the world what she's got. They commented, She is very well talented and deserves another chance to showcase that talent to the world. We all do things that might upset PPL, but with the knowledge of learning from your mistakes and the willingness to correct the mistakes and apologize for them, a person should be allowed to move forward with their life and career. Sad Sadly, Taraji P. Henson also seems to be fighting the same demons in the entertainment industry, as she continuously gets underpaid despite her enormous talents. Henson claimed that she almost decided not to star in The Color Purple due to the same issue. Speaking at a program hosted by Angelique Jackson, Henson claimed that she hadn't seen a raise in her salary since starring in Proud Mary. I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary, the actress said, and I almost had to walk away from Color Purple. If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia Barino and Danielle Brooks and Halle Bailey and Felicia Pearl and Posse. Why am I doing this if it's just for me? For now, many fans are wondering when black women in Hollywood will be paid their worth. Some fans think that it isn't a numbers game, as some Hollywood executives would have them believe. They are of the opinion that most producers are simply exploiting black women's passion for entertainment for their own selfish gains. According to them, most black women are incredibly talented, which is evidenced by the numerous accolades they've won. They also have a huge following on social media and television. So, it's not really about the numbers. What some fans find more annoying is black women 
women in positions of authority doing nothing to help the situation. They feel that given Oprah's power and influence in the entertainment industry, she could have at least been a voice that fought for equal pay for black women. She could have led by example by paying black women what they deserved. Some feel that Gail King was to be blamed for all of this. If she had impressed her best friend to listen to the plight of black women in Hollywood, she probably would have joined the fight. Instead, King was busy defending her friend and allegedly helping to remove any woman who complained. Many fans are hoping that Taraji P. Henson doesn't suffer the same fate that Monique did after coming out to speak against lowballing black women. Hopefully Henson and other black women in Hollywood get the pay they deserve for their talent and the amount of work they put in. And that would be all for today. Thanks for watching.